going on, guys? Back at the works. I uh, thought I'd show you. I got a couple of comments on my last video about what I meant by welding a seam. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me try that again. But I, by what I meant by welding the seam on the plane, I am done with it. You can see it in there. Um, so basically what I did was use some of this plastic weld. Now uh, they make other kinds of it. This just happens to be the kind that I use by squadron. Um, I take this and I get myself some various size, size rod, styrene rod, different thicknesses. I will not go any thicker than that. That is one sixteenth. Any gap that's bigger than that, then I will put a piece of uh, lat stock in. Uh, and then I've made myself a couple of, just a couple of, taking a couple of wooden skewers and put like a little burnishing end on it and I got the other end and I got a tapered one I made. But I use that to, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the seam, all right? What I started with with this here, with this seam was, I took some of the the model master glue, just enough to hold the uh, just enough to hold the styrene rod in. Um, I believe this is point zero one zero, um, and then I'll take that and I'll lay it on top of this liquid cement that I put there. This is the thick stuff. Uh, and then I'll uh, just take my some of this because what this does is melt plastic and I mean when I say melt plastic it melts plastic um, I made the mistake of freaking dumping one of these once and uh, all the plastic that was on my and this was before I knew what it did any any uh, styrene piece that I had on the mat at the time I had to throw out because it literally just dissolved I had to throw the mat out and everything. It just it just dissolved everything. So if you real real careful, and you just take the brush out. This has a brush in it. It's got a brush. If you take that out, and then I just start to paint the uh, start to paint the rod that I put down with with the brush, and uh, it'll soften up enough that you can come, now come in with this and I just push it just go along and push the rod down in, into the seam if, if you have to if you don't have to I mean sometimes well, this this big one up top here the big seam that's that's up top here that was one long piece of uh, I took um, matter of fact I used a piece of this and I laid that in there and uh, I then, like I said I took took that and just start painting that rod and getting it down the only thing you have to do though is let this stuff dry good I got it dry for 24 hours because if you don't and you go back in to sand it or do whatever you're gonna do to smooth it out you're gonna pull it all right out it's gonna roll right out so you gotta let it harden. Uh, like I said, I let it sit overnight. I wait 24 hours before I'll go back and do anything and touch anything. But uh, a minimal loss of, of, there's a minimal amount of sanding, um, all that detail in there. If I had used putty, you know all that detail is gonna be gone. Then you're gonna have to scribe it all back in again. I mean, not that I didn't have to do a little scribing, but, and then you know, and we all know that the putty shrinks, 
So now you gotta re-putty it in case you know it's all this is just so much easier. It comes out better. Look, that's a nice smooth line. And once I get it painted, I'm gonna prime it first to see if I can see any screw ups. But uh it, yeah, it just comes out so much better. Um I mean that's where that's in spots where you can do it. Sometimes you can't always do it. But the good thing about this thin rod is it bend, it will bend around corners and stuff. You just gotta push it down and glue it, and then push it down and glue it. And eventually you get it, because that's what I had to do here. In, uh, that's what I had to do there. That all had to be bent around and uh, yeah. So like I said, I mean, you can still see all the detail I get in there. But I didn't lose too much of it. It's all nice and smooth. You don't see nothing sticking up. So, that's what I do. That's what I, that's what I call welding. So, that's how I fix my, my seams. And like I said, if it's any bigger than that, then I'll end up putting in a, in a, a flat piece of styrene, you know, cardstock. But uh, other than that, that's how I do mine. That's how I weld my seams, boys. So, give it a try. Like I said, you got to take your time, go slow. Um, I have a, I wish I could remember what tank I have. But uh, I put some of this on there because it was a big, and uh, it actually, I took a toothpick. I used a toothpick. And uh, it actually looked like a welded seam. I, come out, I was pretty impressed with how it looked and I left it like that. It looks like, you know, you've gone in and welded. And, uh, so I wish I could remember which one. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, I've been doing I've been doing my seams like that for, for a while now. I just do not like that putty. I don't like it either the white or the green. Yeah, I know it has its places, but why do that when you can put it in styrene? You know, I don't have to worry about anything shrinking. Um, like I said, you do it right. You, you can't feel nothing. You know what I mean? That's all nice and smooth. I got the glass in for the cockpit yesterday. And I got to tape everything. I got to put the side windows in. <laughs> got to put the side windows in. Uh, then I can put the... Uh, the uh, yeah, the propellers and the cowlings on. My uh, wheels are done. I'm just going to paint the, um, uh, paint the aluminum because they're just going to sit in. They just sit in there. So, uh, and I have also, thanks, guys. I appreciate all the, uh, all the kind words with the, uh, all the crap that's going on in my family, so. I appreciate everybody's sentiment. I really do. Uh, we, me and the wife, appreciate it. Uh, oh well, such is life, I guess. All right, boys. I just wanted to show you how I did that. So let me know what you think. Give it a try. Some of you guys might already be doing it, but uh, give it a try. See what you think. Um, just take your time and be careful with the plastic load because like I said it, it will dissolve plastic so and with that I'm going to say goodbye it's, it's early morning it's 9 o'clock here or something like that 8.30 we got a, we got a dusting of snow last night and we're, they're talking about over a foot Wednesday into Thursday beautiful I got up I got a doctor's appointment Thursday morning at 6.30 down in, about, yeah, whatever. So, I don't know, I got to play it by ear. All right, boys, running out of time. You know what I say. You can't feel if you don't try. Peace out, lads. And girls. <laughs>